Hello, today I'll be showing you some stuff from my first successful night blacklighting this year. There were a ton of males at my blacklight tonight, mostly of the species Campanatus chromiodes. Hopefully I pronounced that right. I didn't have much luck actually attracting deolates to my light, so I ventured into my yard and found a few on trees and on the ground. I didn't record myself actually finding any of these deolates because I was too busy catching them, so sorry about that. When you're blacklighting, you'll attract all sorts of things. Here's a picture of two male elates and a female dobson fly. I noticed the males feeding each other or something, but there were so many, and they were all taking part in it. Here's a picture of even more males just piling on top of each other. I have no idea what they were doing besides my guess of that they were feeding each other. Here are the eight queens I ended up catching. There's four Campanatus chromaeodes, two Campanatus snilingi, one Campanatus nearcticus, or carrie, and one Lacius interjectix. Whew! That was a mouthful. Here are the four chromaeodes all ready to be tucked away. I love their red legs, and their workers will have golden hairs on their gasters, which is pretty cool. I am very happy to have caught these girls. I'm a little concerned for the third one. She's a bit restless and is pulling at the cotton. In this shot, she's kind of cleaning herself. The others are pretty calm unless if I move the test tube around, so I'm hoping they'll do well. Here are the two Snilingi. I love these ants too. Their orange and black bodies are so beautiful. They're pretty small compared to the chromaeodes though. I caught one last year out of a stick that I broke, but she ended up dying, which was sad. These ones are pretty chill, even if I jostle the test tube around, which I like. This Nearcticus queen, or carrie, is very calm, even when I pick up the test tube. She's just kind of vibing. It's pretty cool. I tried to get a good shot of her, but she's so dark it's hard to see the details well. I've seen Nearcticus with orange on its thorax, but this one is just black, so I guess they're like different color morphs or whatever. Last but not least, here's the Laceus interjectus. I probably won't be keeping her because I don't have a Laceus colony to give her workers from. But I'm not sure if I will just release her or give her away to someone who wants her. I don't really have someone to give her to off the top of my head. Anyway, that was all the ants I caught. They're all cozy in their founding tubes now. If I misidentified any of them, please let me know. I won't cry too much. And here they are, all covered up and labeled. I label them so I can keep track of when I caught them and what they are without looking at them, you know, disturbing them. Just to show my setup, I have them on a towel on a shelf in my room with a 15 watt heating cable under them. It's not too hot so they don't get cooked. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!